Hello everyone welcome to our channel. Today in this lecture we will discuss about the estimating sediment volume and planning flushing in a settling basin so let's start it. Efficient operation of a hydropower plant requires accurate estimation of sediment volume in a settling basin and proper planning for flushing the deposited sediment. This overview provides insights into the estimation process, flushing techniques, and the frequency of flushing to maintain optimal efficiency. Estimation of sediment volume in settling basin sediment sampling. Regular sediment sampling is conducted from various locations within the settling basin to assess sediment accumulation rates. Sediment analysis. Collected sediment samples are analyzed to determine density, grain size distribution, and settling characteristics for estimating the total volume of deposited sediment. Sediment inflow rate. The rate at which sediment enters the settling basin is determined based on inflow characteristics and historical data. Sediment accumulation rate. By comparing sediment inflow rate to deposition rate, the volume of sediment settled in the basin can be estimated. To estimate the volume of sediment deposited in a settling basin, you can use the following formula, where Q in flow rate of incoming water Q out, flow rate of outgoing water T, time. Flushing of deposited sediment controlled release. Flushing is achieved by releasing a controlled amount of water during low demand periods, which carries sediment out of the settling basin. Sediment removal. Sediment laden water is directed through a flushing channel or outlet, preventing re entry into the settling basin. Environmental impact. Flushing plans consider the impact on aquatic life and downstream ecosystems, ensuring minimal disruption. Flushing is the process of removing accumulated sediment from the settling basin. It's crucial to prevent excessive sediment buildup, which can reduce the basin's efficiency. The flushing flow rate is typically calculated as a fraction of the flow rate of the incoming water. Q flush equals FQ and where Q flush, flushing flow rate F, Flushing factor estimation of flushing frequency sediment accumulation rate. The rate at which sediment accumulates in the basin guides the determination of flushing frequency. Design parameters the settling basin's design and capacity influence the optimal flushing frequency. Environmental impact. Considerations regarding the potential environmental impact play a role in determining flushing frequency. Hydropower plant operation. Flushing is scheduled during periods of lower power demand to minimize disruption to power generation. In practice, the flushing frequency may vary from several months to a few years, depending on the specific characteristics of the hydropower plant and its location. The flushing frequency can be estimated using the following formula, where T flush, flushing frequency V S, volume of sediment estimated in step 1F, flushing factor. Q in, flow rate of incoming water proper estimation of sediment volume is crucial for effective basin management and optimizing hydropower plant performance. Ensuring effective sediment removal. Proper planning, monitoring, and coordination with environmental authorities are crucial for effective and responsible sediment removal from the settling basin. This approach ensures the optimal functioning of the hydropower plant while minimizing environmental impacts. For today we end up the season with this much. We will come again with brand new videos, till then keep on watching our videos and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you.